make sure that you're on the correct handout here. So this is relations tables graphs and this says notes here. Okay, there's two uh, handouts that look almost exactly the same. And essentially you're going to do the same thing, but just double check that you're on the right set of notes here. They should have notes on here. And we're, again, we're going to generate use a relationship, the equation relationship, to, to connect the x and y values, have our inputs and outputs, and we're going to put them in ordered pairs, and then we're going to see what they look like on a graph. Okay, and what we're looking for when we graph these on the x-y axis, and again, the horizontal is x, and the vertical is y, what we're looking for is a pattern. And for the most part, we're just going to end up with straight line patterns. So plugging in some of these inputs into our equations, we're going to get negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, minus 5 is negative 9, our ordered pair is negative 2, negative 9. And I'm going to graph this on my graph, so I'm going to go, my first number is always going to be along the horizontal, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, so that's 9 down, so it's negative, so it's down, so left 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so there's our coordinate. Okay, if you, if what we're going to check for as we graph these is, are we going to get a straight line pattern? If our graph is, our points are off of the straight line pattern, we should double check our either our graphing or our calculations to make sure that we haven't made a mistake, because that often is the case if the graphs look kind of funny. So we're going to plug negative 1 in here. We end up with negative 7. So it's going to be negative 1. Negative 7 is my coordinate. So I'm going to go to left 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 down. Plot positive is up. Negative is down. Positive is right. Negative is left. Okay, so 0. I plug in 0 for x. I get 5 for y. It, oops, so that's going to be negative 5. And I knew I made a mistake there because positive 5 would have been up here, which would have been way, wouldn't have fit my straight line pattern. So 3 times 2 minus 5 is going to be positive 1. So I'm at 3 and 1. So I go 3 to right, 1 up. And again, I can see that they all seem to line up in a straight line. So it looks like my coordinates correct. So 5 times 2 minus 5 is going to be positive 5. So 5 over 5 up. So 5 and 5 gives me a coordinate right there. And again, checking my coordinates, it looks like they line up. And since this is, I should, there's nothing for me to believe that these are discrete points, I should assume that they are continuous. And this is what I really want. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the pattern. Not just individual points. The individual points allow me to find this red line. And that's the pattern that I'm looking for. And that pattern extends beyond this first coordinate and last coordinate. So again here we want to plug in our x. Calculate y. So be careful with your double negatives here. Negative 1 times negative is positive. Plus 8 is 9. So ordered pair is negative 1, positive 9. So negative 1, positive 9 is going to be up here somewhere. 0, 8. Okay, plug in 0, my y is 8. Plug in 1, negative 1 plus 8 is 7. So 1, 7. 2, I get negative 2 plus 8 is positive 6. Okay, and as I plug in my coordinates, I can see that it's just kind of going down by ones. I plug in 5, I get negative 5 plus 8 is going to be 3. So 5 over 3 up. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 up, and it still fits the pattern. It's still going down by 1 every time. So definitely... All my coordinates line up. They seem to make a pattern. This is what I'm looking for. I'm really looking for this pattern. That's the important part. Okay? The idea of using the coordinate geometry is to find the pattern. And it looks like I found a straight line pattern, which is this red line here.
So again, I'm going to plug in some x's. So negative 8 divided by 4 plus, two, plus 1 is going to give me negative 1. Okay, so I get negative 8, negative 1. It's going to be a coordinate right there. Negative 4 times, divided by 4 plus 1 is 0. So my ordered pair is negative 4, 0. Okay, right about there. 0, 1 at 0, y equals 1. And it looks like I've got, they all seem to line up. At x equals 4, y is 2. 4 over 2 up. And again, I'm just checking. Yeah, they all seem to still be lining up. 8 divided by 4 plus 1 is going to be 3. So 8 over 3 up is going to give me a coordinate right about there. And again, since they are all lining up in a nice straight line, that's the pattern I'm looking for. And again, I'm I want to, I'm going to assume that this is continuous, and I know that this pattern is going to extend beyond the first and last point.